Yo, it's Otto, and today I wanted to talk about the 2.0 update uh, that's to be expected. There is no announcement, and I wanted to kind of just confirm some things and just talk about it in general and provide some more information on it, at least things that I have found. Um, my friend did show me this on Wiki, and I did find one other video on it, but what I've seen on Facebook is that this is an expansion, and it's going to be bigger than the current game. Okay, as far as co-op or multiplayer, um, there's a patron post, but as of right now, I'm going to chalk it up as rumor. I haven't found any confirmation. If you see otherwise, let me know. But I want to talk about this symbol right here. This is very big. It's different from the other characters. As you see right here, skirmisher, sorcery, and archery, it's completely different. I'm really thinking that this is going to be a new character, and as the first comment posted and stated... I think it's going to be a druid. Uh, a wolf really symbolizes a druid, and it would fit great with the build and and the system that is in uh, Anima. But as far as patch notes, let's just give us a refresher on everything and make it quick. Uh, there's going to be 10 world zones, 5 new main quests, 5 new bosses, a new astral item rarity, set items are going to be introduced, a new character growth system called the Australium, introduction to tier 6 gear, the character max level will be 1500, they're going to uh, rework the mimic and key guardian, skill graphics are going to be improved, a new button in the menu to pick up items is going to be introduced. A CPU audio graphic performance is also going to be improved. That's pretty big and, well, can't wait to see it. So this was going to be the legendary astral and set uh, glowing uh, animation, as I guess you could say. How it's going to look in-game, pretty much. Um, it looks freaking phenomenal. It looks great. Cannot wait to see it. Um, this is the Australium leveling system that they were mentioning or i mentioned just now uh it looks like a passive like skill tree to me none of none of this looks like current skills in the game um so maybe it's either new skills or ultimately just like passive i guess passives would be new skills but y'all get what i'm saying here i think it's going to be a passive skill tree for all characters um can't wait to see it this is going to be the map for the 10 dungeons as you can see each dot is going to indicate what dungeon is going to be what but that's only on the main island to the left the black lands has no dots and it's technically not included in the 10 dungeons they mentioned so hmm what's that going to be about is that going to be co-op is that going to be the multiplayer um right now i'm going to start showing you some just artwork that has been posted throughout their facebook and instagram just to kind of give you an idea of what the different dungeons are going to look like um and hopefully y'all have enjoyed the video and hopefully i've clarified a few things again with the co-op and multiplayer i'm not saying that it's not going to happen i'm curious to see how the game will work if it does um but as of right now i haven't found confirmation on it so to me it's rumor um, unless I can find more evidence than just that Patreon, uh, screenshot that has no account name or anything, then yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not, not gonna, not gonna believe it till I see it. But hopefully y'all have enjoyed this video. If you do, like, subscribe for more content, and y'all have a great day. I'll catch you later. Oh,